Hey guys and welcome to episode 2 on Devail Valley Simulator. Now you find us back where we were in the episode 1. Now what we're going to do is start our actual career. We've done the tutorial. We've learned the basics. If you want to see the basics for yourself, you want to see the tutorial for yourself so you can reference it at any point. Don't forget to check out episode 1 because that's where we did the tutorial. As I said in episode 1, I'm not going to be like this master that's going to be learning and teaching people everything. I'm very much a noob. I'm, my mindset's not in the right place at the moment mentally. I'm all over the place, as I explained in episode one. I'm not here to like be like, well, uh, approximately 12 miles an hour, you need to change the gear like this. That's not what I'm here for. I'm here to just have fun, see what we do. So let's just crack on. So when you're ready, you can get your first delivery hop. Christ. I said my mindset's not in the right place. When you're ready, you can get your first delivery order here. Find one that you're in license for and insert it in the order validator. Right, oh, gear. What license did I have again? I have no idea. Um, you can insert the delivery order here to start the job once you pick your other. Use couches and beds to sleep into advanced game time. That's it, now you're on your own. Accept an order, follow the Prince extra instructions to complete a good look out there. So on our own from here on out, it's basically up to us to do what we want to do. Um, Okay, so let's think of something a little bit simple. What's the most simple one we have? They all seem to be really long. Um, logistics hall, hall empty cars to the city southwest. Train length, that looks quite easy, that one. I mean, I can't remember what our license is. Where's the licenses? Is it on here? Train driver and freight hall. So are we freight hall? Ah, so we're freight hall. We can do the green ones, basically. Let's have a look at some of these. Uh, deliver steel rails to the harbour in town. 228 tonnes. I want to I want to try something nice and light for our first one. 171 tonnes. 741. We don't want to be doing those two, so we'll do this one. Okay, so delivering steel rails to the harbour in town. Freight hall. SMFH 79. So deliver steel rails. Sounds pretty easy. In the, in the infamous words of Top Gear, how hard can it be? Right, so we've got to insert this into uh, into here. Yeah. Before we do that, let's have a little look around the office, though. So we got over here our that's a various map of things, a schematic sort of map. It's quite a. Uh, at this point in time, that is completely overwhelming me. But I guess that's the steel mills there. And it's showing us all the different ways of getting to the stuff. So I guess that's harbour there. And then there's all the different um, things going on. Forecast. So we have a forecast for the 21st of the 7th. I'm assuming it's not meant to use the real day. So it looks like it's going to be sunny all day. But in the evening it's going to bounce it down. And uh, we'll need a second coat with us. So we've got a sleeping bed. We can do... Oh, we take a laptop with us, can we? we sell it somewhere. Uh, not sure why I'd need all that stuff. I spent loads of time doing this last time. I've just taken an ashtray. I don't want the ashtray. Can we leave the ashtray here? Yeah. I don't really think I need the laptop either. Don't know whose office this is, but you're going to find your laptop is in the bin. Well, it's near the bin. Right, let's get that order. Put it in here. Right, so, turn to page one. Right, so our order is to deliver steel rails. So, our time bonus is 96 minutes. The train value is 0.18 million. And the train mass is 171 tons. And the, the length is 54 meters. License requirements, all that. We've already, obviously, we've all that. We'll get $12,000 for this turn if we can do it without causing a chaos. So, the cars are on track at B60. And we've got CFF 800, CFF 784, CFF 773. So we've got three steel rail cars to, ca to collect. Let's go to our station map. And what we're looking for is B60. So where's B60? I'm guessing it's up here on the main sort of um, where it says B at the top there. Six zero. So the transfer yard. Uh, northeast side, where on the northeast side, where the little house is, the office. So it should, in theory, be to the right of the main line coming through. It's got to be that set down there, I would imagine. It 
should be this set of wagons here. Uh, 773 was the number. Yeah, there we are. 773 and 784 and another one there. I like the graphics on these. The wagons are actually quite nice, aren't they? Detailing's good. I have to be honest, I'm really enjoying this so far. Right, so we got to get these wagons and we've got to take them to where we need to take them to, which is the harbour. For some reason, the like pressing F doesn't seem to be doing very much at the moment. I'm not really jumping very far ahead. I thought you were supposed to be able to jump like a long way. Is that because I haven't got the comms radio out? No. Okay. Right, let's go back to where our local is. I need to remember just the best shot break here because I, I forgot to take a picture for the uh, episode one, which was a bit of a uh, a bit of an own goal. Sure, I left that engine running. Right, okay. So, we've got a servicing material here as well. Well, you can do manual services, which is what all that is there. Right, we've taken a picture for the first episode. Now we'll get ready to take the loco for episode two. Now yeah, we know how to... We just did the tutorial. So, electrics on, starter on, traction motors on. Again, if you want to see all this in slow-mo, uh, episode one's got it all in for you. So we want to look at the dash light. It's telling me to do the dash light. We don't have to do the dash light. It's going to do the cab light as well. Yes, the wipers, we already know about all this. So I want to start the engine up by holding the starter. Yeah, we know about power. So it's, it's going for everything here, which I don't really need it to do. Yes, the brakes are... Yeah, we're on a job here. We ain't got time for all this. We, we did all this in episode one. Uh, so if you're wanting to see all this... Then I suggest you watch episode one. I've left the sander on there. Okay, so we're in forward gear. We have our brakes off. We now need to go forwards. Now we need to go to the harbour. So let's just load our map of the world up. Look at it from the bigger picture. So we're going to the harbour, which is where it says HB on the map. The quickest way for us to get there is to go southwest out of uh, the steel mill. So we need, you know, we need to essentially run around the train, don't we? Um, to get down to the harbour that way. There's no point in going north, because you go north, it's going to take us about 20 years to get there. So, moving forward, we've got the gap power on. We know the point should be set to get us back onto the main line, because we did it in episode one. So it's a case of just get the power on and go. So we can apply train back. It's wanting me to, it's wanting me to apply brakes and stop and all sorts. I'm just zooming through this because we don't need to know all this. So I want me to do the fuel cut off here. So control stops the fuel supply to the engine. So. Okay. Yeah, we know that's the horn. Fuel's full. We've got full oil. We've got full sand. I wasn't really doing it too tight. I was doing a job, but thank you. Um, thank you for stopping my engine whilst we're at it. All right. We have the handbrakes on, take that off. Train brake off. Reverse to forward. Let's try again without that just like interfering with us. So the limit in here was 50 kilometers an hour. Not that I'd want to go through it at 50, but. So we're gonna go out onto the main. We need to remember to change our lights, and then we want to go through in the other direction. 
Uh, I don't think there's a turning triangle or anything right here. So we'll, t we'll essentially be going backwards for this run. Um, ideally, I should have probably turned it on the turntable. Why, why am I talking about triangles when I've just come off a turntable? Jesus Christ, brainless. Well, we'll go backwards. Although, I'm listening to remember the fans and stuff causing chaos when you go backwards. But for this first run, we will live with the consequences. And if I get frustrated in about 20 minutes time because something's gone wrong, remember that it had nothing to do with me whatsoever. So we're going to bring the loco to a stand. We're going to get our little switch operator. Comms radio, rather. Change the points. Uh, whilst we're doing this, we probably want to change them to go... It looks like we're going straight from the main there. Right. So, reverse her to back. Lights on the rear to... Head. And the front to tail. That should have now... Tail light in the back. Headlight in the front. That's what we like to see. I've done a lap of the loco. No door there. Oh, I like that. Right. Door shut. Reverses in forwards. No, reverse. Fixed it off. Power to on. Oh, here we go. We can go flying through here, really. Obviously, you've got to be careful with your amps and stuff as well. A little bit of tone. So we're set to go straight on all the way through. That's good. Right, okay. So it's 50 kilometers an hour through here, so let's go. Obviously, there is a time bonus for doing these jobs in the uh, in the right amount of time. B60 is the track that we're going on. So we need to get to the other end of the wagons, couple to them and take them out. Power off. Doesn't seem to be any track oh, there's some track joint noise. The track joints obviously seem a bit further apart on this section. Looking forward to hauling them at some point, they're some quite beastie wagons. I like how the wind sound changes as you open the door. That's impressive, I like that. We'll get ready some brakes. We want to stop just past this uh, second set of points. And we can shunt back onto the stock. We'll obviously have to change the points and make sure that everything's set for us to go onto the train. That'll do. Stop anywhere there. What the hell am I doing? What's, what's the neighbour in LED there? Oh, light on the uh, end of it. Uh, second switch we want to turn right. That's correct. Okay, so lights on the rear to tail, lights on the front to head. Forward gear, power on, brakes off. Toot toot. So on a couple to the train, we want to take it down to the harbour. 171 tonnes. I can't foresee anything going wrong on this run. Anyone that watched any of my previous Devail Valley videos will know that everything did go wrong when we did it before, so I'm sure something's going to go wrong at some point. Don't we have a watch, by the way? I mean, how am I supposed to know what time it is if I don't have a watch? I've got a compass. Can we leave that in the cab? Oh, I can. There we go. I don't need that. This game's not tripping us up this year, guys. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna own this. Brakes, brakes, brakes. Once again, wasn't sweating at all. I'm expecting a clunk. Oh, it stopped. Well, that, that's the, the uh, clunk as you'll get it. Alright. Loco brake on. Door open. Right, we've got to get down between. And we want to get our coupling hook. 
coupling, throw it over the coupling hook, tighten it up, get an air hose, connect that up. There we go. So we're coupled up. Now, is the handbrake still released? I don't know if they're actually released or not. How do I know if the handbrakes are released or not? How do we know the handbrake's on? Anybody know if we know how the handbrake's are on? Well, we'll find out if we can't move the load on. Now you see this time, but the brake, the, uh, the gauge is just sat at zero. The gauge isn't moving. It's uh, showing us having some brake applied there. So what can I do? Oh, the loco brake might have been on a bit. Now let's try again. I reckon I've just put the handbrakes on. I reckon I might have had both brakes on. So we might be on for our first proper bad mark of the day there. Basically what I've done, guys, is I've had an argument with myself and I didn't realise that I had left a brake on and I then went and put handbrakes on all the stock. And also what I've just done, it's a good job it's level track here because I've just got out and left the train on brakes there. Alright, let's try again. Please move this time. This seems very difficult to move. Is it really this hard to shift this way? I mean, I don't want to give it too much because I'm going to the red. I mean, you can already see the temperature's going up. That's not right, that. I'm sorry, but that's not right. This isn't right. What hasn't been explained to me here? Something hasn't been explained here very well. I mean, is 100, 171 tons, is it too much for this? Is it? Surely. I mean, we must have the arm brakes off. We've got to have them off. I mean, I did the, I did do the brakes because they're, they're off. I mean, it spends a lot of time going through some things twice, but then it doesn't actually, like, how am I supposed to know what's this? Well, how am I supposed to know what that is? It doesn't tell me. Like, what, what, what's that? What is it? <laughs> I mean, it's just a button that we can play with. What is it? What's that? Uh, you know, what, what? Yeah, that's... Yeah. Me and this game are already starting to fall out, unfortunately, because I have no idea... I have no idea if the handbrakes are on, off... Um, there might be a break in the video in a minute whilst I go and figure it out. This is my last throw of the dice with this at the moment. I don't know if they're, like, brake releases. That's when you change from air to vac and you have to pull the, uh, the cords. I'm not sure if that's what that's got something to do with. I'm guessing the one for this one's on the other side. I have no idea what this is in relation to these little handles. Brakes are definitely off. So you can see that the brakes are definitely off the reverse, so it's in full reverse. Right, those handbrakes are definitely on now. The handbrakes are definitely 100% on. Right, so we want to be down, which is what I had already on the left mouse button. Or the, uh, sorry, in the middle mouse button, so we want to go to the left, which is what we're doing with all these. Let's then try pulling these. For the sake of it, see what it does. Doesn't let you hold it, by the way. It just makes you pull it, so it comes out. Right. Jump in the cab. No door. Jump over the cab, then into the cab. Well, I think it's moving maybe a little bit easier this time.
Yeah, we're definitely moving better this time. Okay, so it seems that you do have to pull those little things, maybe. I don't know. We definitely had all the handbrakes off previously and we weren't moving. So, yeah, I'm not sure. Anyway, I'm not thrashing the hell out of it, watching these temperatures. We don't want to overheat the engine. So we just want to take this nice and steady, get ourselves built up to some speed. And uh, the main thing for us is to ensure that we're going in the right direction. That's the key here. So up to 20 kph. Uh, I don't want to have to stop it because I think we've uphill straight away. So when we get to this triangle, I've got to make sure that we're going left, which is the second set of points. Uh, currently set to go left, which is fine. Right, I can put that away. Change out to switch so it's on the right thing for if we need it later. So temperature is nicely sat just over 50, which is fine. Again, happy at 20 kph, but now we're coming out of the yard, I will just give it another notch. Because the amps are nice and low, we're up to a decent bit of speed, we can give it a little bit more power. This is just based off my logic, by the way, not off anything I've seen for anybody tell me how to play the game. I haven't watched anything other than the uh, little videos that you could see before release. Oh, so you can see the controls up there, that's quite cool. Uh, right, that's useful. Right, okay, that's, that's, that's actually useful. So we are going up a hill. Give it a little bit more power. Again, it's a bit like what I always say with Steam Locos on Trains in Classic, is let the thing find its own way. I could come up here on full power and I'd be um, overheating it within about two seconds, so we'll try not to do that. Sounds actually pretty decent. I like how the sounds actually are changing as we're going along. So we've got to keep an eye on that temperature gauge, it is going up. Um, we are on a, a, a gradual climb here. So let's have a look at the map. Quite annoying that we can't see ourselves on the map. I'm going to come to a stop here if I'm not careful. Got to watch that temperature gauge. It's already getting up towards 90. I'm just toying with trying to keep the speed moving and the temperature below 90. We might have to stop to give the loco a breather in a minute. Where's the summit? Anyway, on the map, what we're looking at is we're coming out of the steel mill and then we want to turn left again. That's hit 90, hasn't it? Yeah. For some reason, the camera buttons aren't working. I seem to remember it said to press F2 for like external, and I'm pressing them and know what's happening. Both in first person and in like the camera mode, so that's quite annoying. I'm guessing that we're probably overheating because again I'm coming the wrong way, I'm going backwards, or I should be going forwards, so this might be a bad mark. If it is, we'll just have to let the loco cool down in a minute or two. I'm just hoping the summit's around here somewhere. Drop the power again. So the temperature is dropping back a bit. Speed is stable-ish. We might be just about okay on that. I mean, we're not exactly moving very quickly, but we are moving. Which is more than we did in the uh, first series. How are you supposed to know where you are? We're going towards where it says FM anyway, we're below that on that line and we'll get to some points soon and turn left. 
So you can see there's a junction coming up, which is that junction that I'm referring to. So we need to turn left at this junction. Temperature's actually back down again now, so I can power up again. Just see if we can get up to a little bit more speed than this. It's one thing for, to remember for future reference, though, is that there is this climb coming out of here. I think it is mostly downhill then after that. I hope. I'm guessing it's going to be downhill if we turn left here then right at the second one. But... We'll go the short way and hope we can make it. I feel like this thing can get over most of the hills. Should it really be struggling this much with 171 tonnes though? I just realised I climbed out of the cab there when it's turned left. That would have been a very silly thing to do. There we go. Right. I mean, there's no sounds of brakes dragging, which is why I've come back here. I just wanted to see if there was any obvious sign of brake dragging, but there's nothing. So, it would suggest to me that the brakes are off. Looks like it's starting to get towards evening time. The sun's setting. They said that it was going to rain later in the evening, which we don't really want. Temperature is now below 90 again, so we can give it a bit more power. Because the amps are nice and stable as well. So we can give it that bit more oomph to get ourselves uh, up to a bit more speed. So speed's 90, we can get up to on this section now. We're now up to 25, a bit more power. Again, just watching that, I'm watching the temperature gauge. The amps are at 400, they're nice and stable. So we're coming up to 60 limit here. And this will be where the other side of the triangle comes in. So, oh no, we're coming up to a junction where we turn left again. So we want to turn left at this junction. I'm gonna make sure we're below 60, which we are, we're just coming up towards 30. Right. I'm loving the evening lighting. Currently set to turn right, we want to turn left. Still too far away to change that. We're getting up a little bit of speed now because it looks like we're going downhill. So this is where we have to be careful in a minute. Switch has changed. What's it say speed limit wise for that? Power off, let's power off. 70, right. Fresh time. I reckon we can get full power out of this now. Nearly. So, we're now going along... After the second set of points to the right of FM. Along that top line towards the harbour. We're going for it. What was the limit? 70? 80 now. So it's now 80. Temperature's got a bit high, so we want to power off. We're up to 60, so we're going nicely. So we can ease the power down nicely. Let the toot down the valley. So obviously the speedo's behind me, so it's a little bit tricky to keep looking round all the time. 100 actually now, so we could go 100 if, if we wanted to. Um, this thing doesn't even do 100. And we're doing 40 odd miles an hour, 60 kilometres an hour. We're doing quite a decent speed. Um, I don't think we need to be worrying about going too quickly. You can actually go 120 on here. Oh, tree across the track. You would have thought that I sorted that out. Speed's dropping to 100, but we're still... We're still actually accelerating, we're up to 65 now. Because again, we're downhill still. 
80 coming up so we've got to get to uh, keep it below 80 we're at 65 we're absolutely fine where that's concerned i have to think about putting the headlight on soon because it's starting to get dark as in the brighter headlight i love the scene of it very nice so i guess we're sort of where that left hand bend is before the lake which is there so we are about here somewhere so I want to turn right at the next junction there. Seventy limit, we're nearly at seventy, aren't we? Yeah. Right, power off. So it says seven, it means seventy. It says twelve, it means one eight, uh, one twenty, one eighty. Beg your pardon. But sixty-five, we've got a bit of flange, but uh, nothing to worry about. Eighty again in a minute, so. Really like this coast at this point. At this point, whilst we're uh, easing along, look at the views. That's stunning. Can't get too distracted looking at the views, but the views are stunning. So it's dropping again to seventy. I just wish the external camera was. Working. I don't know why it's not working, but it isn't working for certain. Speed wise we're down to 60 so we'll get a bit of power on. We should be coming down to the junction again in a minute. Um, before we turn to the right. Which is where that viaduct is in the in the uh, foreground. It looks like there's a tight curve after that. So let's get the power off actually. Because I reckon that'll be a 60 km an hour curve. Uh, get ready with our comms radio to change the points ahead if we need to. 60, so we are doing bang on 60. Let's just ease the brakes in slightly. That'll do for braking. Right, we're going to get ready to change these points if needed. We want to go to the right through that tunnel. There we go. Change today, it says 40. Right, 40. Brakes on. We only just got down to that then, and now we're going to be slowing right down. Power on. Because I don't know if we've got a climb to come off to this, but I'm guessing we probably have because we've dropped a long way. Oh, look at that. That is beautiful. Look at the way it shines in. It's better than the train sim world. That is stunning. Right, it said 60 again, so we can go up to 60 now. That is beautiful how the light's coming through the tunnel. Very impressive. Oh, 40, 40. So obviously your brakes will have a delay on them. Uh, but we need more braking than that. See, the speed limits do catch you out if you're not careful. And uh, looks like we're still going down a hill here. It's going to get dark soon. We need some headlights on. Seventy now, so power time. Temperatures are nice, so we can get nice full power nearly out of this, I reckon. Well, what was that? That told me about speed there. I'm going to err on the side of caution that that told me it was 40. Fifty, fifty. Speeding. This game definitely keeps you on your toes. This is this is so nice looking though. Really is good looking. Six time, we're going down a hill here, so I don't need to worry about the uh, 
getting any brakes, uh, any power on. So we are now in this valley here. So we'll soon actually be at the harbour. Next junction is turn left. Forty, forty. That's for this curve coming up. Obviously, it's going to be a bit of a, I'm going to be a bit uh, too much slowing down, maybe. Ah, just about right. You really do have to be on your toes. I think I derailed here once before. This is where we derailed in one of my earlier episodes. I was uh, too busy bothering trying to get a picture, if I remember rightly. And I was up on that mountain, we came flying off the hill. Yeah, it was here. Oh, look at the trees. Yeah, that's a shame. Oh, I, actually, we hit them, don't we? It's still a bit weird, though. I don't know what that speed sign said. I was too busy looking at what the tree was doing. It'll tell me if this was up or down. Well, that was going up, so... A 70, so there we are. Okay, so we are now... Down here. We've just crossed that lake, uh, the river there. So we're going to come to a junction in a moment when we need to turn left. I'm not going to bother with power or anything at this point, because... Well, actually, I need to break, to be honest with you. Uh, need to turn left at the points I set left. We need to get down to 40. Down to 40. Come on, come on, come on. <laughs> oh, no. God, you, you really do have to learn the route. Because you don't get any notice at all of these speed limit changes. Ah, there's the harbour. Okay, so we're going to have to stop outside the harbour so we can get the gen on where we're going. I love how it looks with the lights and everything. Nice. So as soon as we get onto this level bit before the harbour there at the bottom, I will uh, stop the train. We'll get the maps out and we'll work out what we're doing. 40 again in a second, but we're still... Well, I'm going to actually accelerate a little bit out because we're going downhill. As you can see. So we need to get a, a decent bit of braking done. Minus 1.7 gradients it said there I think. So we need some more brakes, more brakes. So this would be a, a right climb out of here then. Obviously you're climbing into the mountains it would be. I mean I, I can't imagine how this loco would have performed going all the way back up that hill. It would have been a bit of a toil. So a 1.7 gradient is about 1 in 60, 1 in 70, something like that. Alright, we're getting towards the junction, so let's get ready to stop. Yeah, we need to bring the train to a stand here. Loving the detail down uh, by the dockside and stuff. And now the light's shining off as it's going past. Right. Train's coming to a stand before the junction. So what we have to do now is we need to get our various schematic maps open. Um, so that we can see where we need to go. Uh, we've got our job map, which is this one. So we've coupled to the train. We've hauled it to the harbour. Hauled it to the harbour and town. HB station C2I track. Right, so we want to look at station map. Uh, HB is this one. Harbour and Town overview. So C is where we're going. So we want to turn left. We're coming from the uh, west side. So we want to turn left at this first one. Go past the second one, which is where the depot is. Uh, the second triangle, we want to turn right. So we know that's the first stage there, so we can do that straight away. Uh, cab light on because we can't really see out in here at the minute. So I want to turn left, which is already set. Some tank cars over there, look. Okay, so. This door open. So I want to turn left here and then head around uh, past the depot. 
which is that one there. I do like how this looks, I really, really do. I mean, I never really played much of the original DVL Valley, but what I can remember of it, to me, this feels like quite a big improvement. Right, so we're passing this one, so we're going left, which is correct. Uh, C to I track is where we're going eventually. Power off. So we want to turn right at the next junction. Got the depot over there. All those locos that one day maybe we'll get to drive if I'm... Uh, if I'm capable. So this junction here, we want to turn right. And this will take us then down to uh, where we need to head to. station map so we're going down that that bit now and we'll stop at the entrance to the yard work out which track we need to go down to drop the wagons off uh, looks like we're at the entrance to the yard now so let's get this train stopped I think that's the track we want straight ahead to I So you got the schematics for the military base, uh, fuel loading yard, which is where we are, fluid loading yards. Uh, C, you can see in the top right there. So 2L or 2I or whatever it is, the middle one. We're coming in from the north, so yeah, we want to be middle track. Uh, just double cross check that with our order. C2I, that's right. So we want to make sure that we've got our points set in the right direction, which they are, which is a wonder. Right. Brakes to off, throttle to on. Power it in, dump the train, and then complete the job. And we should have done it well within a bonus turn. But there is runaround loops at the bottom of here as well. Right. That was power, brakes. This was step five of six. What's step six? To complete this order, insert the booklet in the nearest order validator. Right, it's up there. Look. There we are. Right, so order validator, there we are. It's still showing us rain at 9 pm. I don't know what time it is. We haven't got any idea what time it is here, really, because we can't see um, any time sort of thing on it. Right, so let's grab our order. We want to put it in. To validate it, throw that. Well, I could have thrown it in the bin, really. Take this. So, order seat in progress. Move cars from SMB60 to HBC2I. See warnings below. Handbrake must be applied on at least one car. For God's sake, he's taking the mic. So, I've got to jump walk all the way back over there now to do that. Reprint active orders. Oh, went on. Right. Hey, we did it. 
We did it. Oh, oh, it's me money. Hang on. All right. 18 grand, I'll take that. I will definitely take that, right. Okay, so we got our money. Uh, that can go in the bin. Get in the bin. Don't need that, we need to have a look at this. Okay, so, order report completed. Elapsed time 48 minutes, we had to do it 96 for the bonus, the base payment was 12,000, we did no damage. We did it in 46 minutes. No expiration penalty, a time bonus of 6,000, which is good, 18,000 overall. No environmental damage was caused. Happy with that. I'd say, guys, that was a... Get in the bin. Get in the bin. I'd say that was a job well done. I think we did a good job there. So, we will continue. Oh, there's the clock. That's how you talk time is. So, it's 11pm. There's not been any rain. It was supposed to rain at 9pm. So, um, yeah. But anyway, hope you enjoyed episode 2, guys. Uh, episode 3 I'm sure will follow very shortly if it doesn't then you know why because I've already explained um, various things in life going on at the minute um, as I record this I've got my father's funeral in a couple of weeks time so I do have to I will probably be taking a little bit of a break but I will get back to the series as soon as I can cheers guys for watching really appreciate your time don't forget make sure you do like comment and subscribe and uh, check out Tom, that's twitch.tv forward slash trainsim underscore TV. He's usually live Fridays and Sundays. See you later, guys. Goodbye.